So here we are then, OMAC 14, main event of the evening, a lightweight contest between Jason Coolidge in the red trunks and Martin Stapleton in the blue trunks. I'm David Leatherby, alongside me, Jay Furness. Jay, electric atmosphere for this one. Stapes has got a huge fan base here in Liverpool tonight. He's uh, obviously sold a lot of tickets. He's filled the place out almost by himself. He'll be eager to impress in front of uh, the loyal faithful here in Liverpool. Stapleton, a guy will recognise. Oh, nice right hand there and a knee. Yeah, Stapleton, a guy will recognise off uh, the Ultimate Fighter. His stint on the, the UK versus America series. And uh, he'd been out of action for three years. He just recently won his comeback fight against Shah Hussein. And this is his second fight back after such a long layoff. You know, let's see, uh, you know, if the ring rust, has ring rust has truly been blown off after that one fight. Stapes looking to pressure Coolidge against the fence, looking for the takedown. Jason Coolidge in there representing BKK fighters. It's a relatively new gym, I believe, under the tutelage of the very experienced Jack Mason there in his corner. Yep, Coolidge is doing a good job of stuffing that takedown with the underhook and a good wide base against the cage. Not many people defend a Stapleton takedown for this long. So already he's doing a good job. Definitely coming in as the underdog. Yep, Stapes just keeping tight to his man, looking, to, looking for the opportunity to take a leg and, and drag Coolidge to the mat. Always renowned for, for an excellent wrestling and top game is Martin Stapleton. If we say that, Coolidge does well to spin his man back round. But then the power of Stapleton. Yeah, jostling for position like this, this is tough. You know, it's just the, the little nuances, just the little movements. This is hard on both guys. While it might not look like they're making too many explosive movements, you know, it's not easy and it's tough on the body, that clinch work. Let's say, uh, but with his with his Marines background as a PT in the Marines, Stapes, you just know he's not going to tire. The free Mark Goddard separates the fighters, and now we're back in standing position. Stapleton narrowly missing out on the knee. He'll be training with world-class Thai boxers at Calbon, and uh, obviously strikers like Terry Etim, you know, Paul Taylor, training with those guys day in, day out. So his striking game is only going to come on even more as well. Slight swelling under the left eye of Jason Coolidge. Stapes looking the calmer man on the feet. Definitely more measured. Coolidge is looking to throw some shots, but he hasn't quite got the range just yet. He's not found his spot. He's missing with them straight shots by just a couple of inches. Just say, Jay Coolidge. Standing in southpaw, finding it difficult to gauge the range here. Unlike Stapleton with a brilliant lead right hand. Big knee lands. That's a tactic he's used a few times already in this fight. Just that knee, uh, just as they're exiting or coming into a clinch. Stapleton looking very hyped for this first round. For me, Jay, with Coolidge now, it's almost about weathering this early storm. Maybe getting this fight into the latter rounds and like you say, testing that endurance and whether he really has dusted off that ring rust. Nice right hand lands there in that flurry. And Stapes looks for a knee and he clinches Coolidge on the fence. Yeah. With regards to the cardio, Dave, I'm, I'm sure that the deeper these waters get, that's when uh, Stapleton will really start prospering even more. You know, he is a renowned cardio machine. He runs his own facility doing strength and conditioning. You know, I can't see that ever being a problem for him, but you know, you never know. A fight's a fight and sometimes these the guys can get drained no matter how fit you are in the gym. Again, Coolidge doing a good job of just using that underhook to keep Stapleton uh, more upright so he can't suck in the hips and, and just finish that takedown. Coolidge, some excellent defensive wrestling work. Obviously, as I mentioned, Jack Mason in his corner there. Excellent wrestler himself who works along the likes of UFC's John Maguire, of course, renowned as having some of the best wrestling in the UK, working Pierre Gillet and guys like that. Coolidge showing some sound basics here. Stapleton struggling. Mark Goddard may look to separate these guys again. Yep, he calls for action. Stapleton using good head control. 
you know, and he's not rushing it. He's still, he's had one fight back after three years, so he doesn't want to rush these fights. You know, he'll take his time, he'll get the ring time again, and uh, this will all build up to, uh, you know, a much better Martin Stapleton. Looking to low. Jason Coolidge in at the end there. Coolidge calling on the crowd. He's certainly up for this, Jay. In my mind, clear first round in favour of Martin Stapleton. Yeah, that's definitely Stapleton's round. Um, but, you know, Coolidge has shown some good signs as well. His, his defensive wrestling on the cage has been good. You know, a lot of people in that position against Stapleton are, are going to be on the back and on the back for prolonged periods of time. So Coolidge has done a, a great job of managing to stay on his feet in that position. Yeah, excellent job by Jason Coolidge. Like I said earlier, almost to weather the storm in the first round. But as you rightly pointed out, Jay, Stapleton cardio machine so Coolidge may have to weather another early storm in the start of the second but what you can say is with his gesture into the cloud he's certainly up for the task Jason Coolidge he's not shying away in face of this massive massive support for Martin Stapleton as a big chant goes around the arena here at the Olympia yep they call him the animal so he's fired up you know he's primal and uh, you know he doesn't come to back down. He's going against the odds here. You know he's he's going against a, a real firm fan favourite. But you know he's not taking a backward step, and he's looking to really take a fight and give a good main event for the crowd at the Olympia. Got to say, Jay, physically, Martin Stapleton looks at fantastic shape for the weight. Looks a big, big lightweight in there. I believe it's what you would term a unit. Yep, and they're starting to exchange a little bit more. Coolidge, again, he, you know, he just seem, doesn't seem to find the range with the punches. He's just outside the range where Stapleton's hitting him with almost every shot that he throws. He's really struggling, like you say, Coolidge. I mean, he's obviously going to be used to striking with orthodox fighters, but something about Stapleton's movement seems to really be leaving him short, and perhaps it's those inside little leg kicks and Stapleton mixing it up. But he is moving back in straight lines, Stapleton. But Coolidge still not able to find his man. Nice right hand counter there from Stapes. He's, it looks like his boxing's come on a lot since we've uh, since we've last seen him regularly. He's almost trying to lull Coolidge in here. Ooh, and a left hand lands there for Coolidge. I think the wilder they let the exchanges get, the, the more it might benefit Coolidge because State looks the more technical striker, but Coolidge is having some success now. Oh, and they're firing, really exchanging hard right hands there. The crowd really enjoying this back and forth battle as Coolidge smiles to Stapleton. That low kick, Jay, seems to really be finding the work for Stapleton. Oh, and a head kick comes in. Coolidge gestures. Might not be his wisest move, but you know, he's definitely up for this fight and he seems to be enjoying it more as, the, uh, as they engage more. Well, despite having limited success, stood up in the boxing range, Coolidge looks content to stay here. So he's obviously confident in his power. I say that, he shoots in and easily shrugged off by Martin Stapleton. Coolidge has been having more success. He seems to have found his range a little bit with that southpaw left hand. Big right hand. Stapes steams in. I'm really impressed, Jay, with Jason Coolidge's work with his back to the cage. He's pummeling in and avoiding that plum tie clinch that Stapleton just went for. And it's defensive wrestling and hips. He's shown great hips throughout this bout because Stapleton, as you know, is very highly rated when it comes to attacking takedowns. Yep, and uh, for him to manage to stay on his feet in this position for so long is, you know, it's a testament to his training. Coolidge bleeding from the nose. But I think it was that last exchange that came in from Stapes as he as he drove him almost Belfort S towards the cage with punches. And yeah, there's uh, a lot of blood there, Jay. That could certainly be a broken nose, which is obviously going to affect his breathing. But still doing a good job of remaining upright on the cage. Maybe a little uh, shot to the cup there. Coolidge. Coolidge. 
perhaps wisely. Sorry, Jay, taking time to recover. Saying that, he signals back to Mark Carlo to get it started again. Certainly didn't want a breather. Blowing his nose out on the canvas. Not always the best thing to do because the eyes can swell up. Yeah, a lot of blood coming out of that nose now. It, it looks broken, Dave. Let's see if it, it does affect his breathing and let's see if that cardio slows down. Stapes looking to pick up the pace now. He's, he's uh, smelt the blood and he, he's going for the kill. Yeah, since huge amount of time that he's been around the sport and his, his hiatus away from the game. Stapes looks like a young man out there, Jay. Yeah, obviously, the, you know, the three years away from the sport revitalised him. He, he's got his love back for the game and he, he's got the time to, uh, to really commit to his career as a professional fighter. And we're seeing the dividends of that being paid tonight. Looking, Looking for a guillotine, for a guillotine choke. Coolidge shrugs his man off. Blood streaming down from the nose of Jason Coolidge. Still content to stand in that pocket and exchange a testament to his fighting spirit. Yep, Jason Coolidge, you know, he's not come over, come all the way up to Liverpool from Essex to uh, roll over for Martin Stapleton. And he's landed a couple of good shots there. He ate one back, but he's still firing forward. A better round for Coolidge, I'd say, but still another one in the books for Martin Stapleton. Coolidge screaming to the crowd. It's completely hyped for this, but it's difficult, Jay. You're in the corner of Coolidge now going to this third round. What are you saying to him? Has he got a look for the one-punch finish now? I'd say so, but from uh, from my knowledge on Coolidge, you know, he's, he's a good submissions guy. Uh, I saw his last fight, and he was chaining chokes together beautifully. Um, and he looks really good from top position. So, you know, maybe if he, he looks to close the distance and tries to get on top himself, maybe that could be his key to victory. But he definitely needs to do it inside the next five minutes because if this goes to the judges, it's not going to look favourably upon him for the, for the decision. No, certainly. Coolidge, two rounds down to Martin Stapleton. That goes without saying. He's going to need a finish in this third. Such an experienced corner there for Stapleton. You've got Colin Heron, head coach of Team Carbon, Brigadero, the Luke Libre coach, and uh, obviously Mark Scanlon, who's featured in the UFC. Great grappler himself. They're out for round three. They seem to extend that flow of blood from Coolidge's nose a little bit, which might help him. States with a big counter punches there. What I like about these Stapleton combinations is he's finishing everyone with a knee, Jay. He's certainly looking to marry together his punches and kicks. Yep, and it's working because those knees have connected, you know, on more than one occasion. Lovely little short right uppercut on the inside from Stapleton. Coolidge looking to brawl a little bit more. He's, he's throwing heavy hands, but he's, he's hitting air quite a lot of the time. Nice left hand, though, from Coolidge, but then met with two or three shots on the counter. Yeah, for me, Jay, he's going to have to turn it into something dirty or perhaps, as I say that, look to take it into the ground position because he's definitely losing the boxing battle. Looking for that single leg, trying to put Stapleton's back on the mat. Not many people have been able to do that in the UK domestic circuit, so if he could, then, you know, it'd be amongst good company. Nice jab to the body there. Coolidge, bit of showmanship. Gets copped with a couple of punches for his troubles. You know, Jason Coolidge has, has come all the way up to Liverpool with nothing to lose. You know, if, if he puts in a good performance against Martin Stapleton, then, you know, he's a hero back home because nobody was really expecting him to win this fight. So he's putting up a good performance and, you know, although he will want to win, he's got, he hasn't really got anything to lose. So, you know, if you look at it that way, he's really gaining a lot of respect for himself in this fight. Certainly a great showing from Coolidge in terms of heart. It, it's interesting though, Jay, that the first two rounds Superman have followed the similar sort of pattern to the third. 
It's easy for me to say on the outside, but I'd like to see Coolidge try and mix it up. I don't know whether to perhaps use more kicks or he's only looked for the one takedown this round because this striking battle, Jay, he, he's already lost sort of 12, 13 minutes of it. Yeah, it's certainly uh, not a pattern he wants to keep following, but he seems content to, so, you know. Lovely it, little chopping left hand from Stapleton again. Stapleton just moving in and landing his shots and moving back out of range again. And, you know, he, he's finding that Coolidge's punch is just missing by a couple of inches. And that's just that's just really tight, you know, nice bit of headwork from Stapes, just managing to get out of there, just out of that range. I mean, as you alluded to earlier, Jay, I, I didn't see his last bout Stapleton, but I don't remember his hands being this smooth. No, he certainly looks better. Certainly looks better with his hands now. Definitely more relaxed. As we say that, he gets his head snapped back by a Coolidge jab. Stokes bobbing and weaving, and that right hand lands again. I think the uppercut could be there for Stapleton. Coolidge is lowering his head when trying to defend the shots that he throws. Bit of blood from Stapleton's nose there. You know, he's not been uh, flawless himself in his defence. He has taken some shots, but he's just been landing in a lot bigger volume. You almost look for that uppercut you called there, Dave. Ooh, nice lovely combination. right hand. Lovely right hand there from Stapleton, but Coolidge just carries on marching forward. It just seems to spur him on, Dave. You know, they call him the animal. You know, you hit him and he keeps coming back. Takedown for Stapleton there. Yeah, he, uh, he's working from this half guard position. Coolidge has got the one leg trapped, looking to lock it down. But Stapes on top, you know, he has got some vicious ground and pound. We've seen it many, many times. Stapleton. Moving Coolidge up to the side of the cage, sat in his half guard at the moment. Coolidge looks to shrimp and scramble back to his feet. Does a good job of it, got to be wary of his back. Coolidge is doing a good job of sort of his half work back to his feet there. Stapes got the back and he's back up. He really needs to swing hell for lever here, Coolidge, because he's losing this fight and there it is. Good performance from Martin Stapleton. He's made a lot of improvements. His boxing game looked tighter. And uh, for me, that's three rounds in the bag for Martin Stapleton, but a spirited performance from Jason Coolidge. Yep, certainly, Jay. Great, great workout when you look at it in post-mortem for Martin Stapleton. The guy, like you said, coming back after a while out, he's going to want to get rounds in, see how his game's developing. And he showed a very smooth boxing style there. And Jason Coolidge... Nothing to be ashamed of. He's come up here, put it all on the line. Even the crowd have warmed to him in the end, I think. But just as you say, Jay, in my mind, I'm agreeing there. It's got to be Martin Stapleton. Three rounds to the good.